Hello researchers. How are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to deploy Odoo ERP and open source CRM based software on Ubuntu 15.04. Now as you can see on the screen, I have opened a website called Odoo.com. It is basically known as the official website for Odoo database software. Now if you see the words of Mark Peters, the general manager vending division that before Odoo we used to have 14 softwares to run our operations. Now everything is fully integrated. Odoo known as Open ERP, before that it was known as Tiny ERP, comprise of suit of open source enterprises management applications targeting all sorts of companies from small business to SMEs to large enterprises. And today, the Adu has more than 30 core modules and more than 3000 community modules. If you click on this version over here, Minu, you can find all the points which are being there on Adu. So it's a big software, it's a very popular software. Now in this video, I will be demonstrating you how to install Adu in Ubuntu 15.04 in a very easy and simple to use steps. Now before I should proceed, let me tell you, I request you to please, if you are using uh, virtual, uh, you can say VMware workstation, try to use on a new VMware machine. That is you first of all install new Ubuntu 15.04 and then give it a shot because it, it requires a very good and a fresh machine to get it installed. So without wasting time, let us proceed. So let us go to our VMware. Now let me have the full screen in front of you. And now let us go with the commands. Now in this version, I will be first of all starting with ado. And uh, first of all, let us log in with root. So let us fire this command su space minus and let us give the password. Now the root has logged in. So the first step, as I've already told you, if you want to install even a small package, you have to first of all update the full machine. So we give the command apt hyphen get update. So after the update finishes, we will be starting with the installation of Python libraries, the starting step for Ado ERP. So the packages are being updated. So let us go with the installation of Python libraries. Let us take this command which I have already copied. So let us paste it. So it is telling that about 23.5 MB of additional tasks will be there. So let us wait till it gets downloaded and installed. So after that, we have to see one thing because some of the Python libraries have some unmet dependencies. So we'll be giving us the full command so that everything gets settled up. So almost we are there with the download part. And now let us start with the installation of the Python libraries. So as you can see, it is setting up all the Python libraries. So now let us first of all fix all these undependent libraries. So apt hyphen get space minus f install. So all you can say that the packages are updated. So let us fire the another command for installing the PostgreSQL that is apt hyphen get install task cell. So let us give it yes. So after it gets downloaded, we have to install the PostgreSQL. So let us clear this. So give the command task SEL. So over here, we have to just select the PostgreSQL and let us remove this print server with the spacebar and make it sure nothing has been selected. 
so we don't need this we don't need this so let us tab and press ok so it will be downloading and installing the PostgreSQL packages. PostgreSQL is basically an open source database like we have MySQL. So for open ADO, uh, you can say ERP application, we need PostgreSQL as the backend server, database server, I can say, in depth. So it is downloading all these 15 files and after that we will be firing the installation of PostgreSQL. So now the installation of packages has started. It will take just uh, about a minute. So let us wait till it gets over. After PostgreSQL, we will be firing up the web server installation. That is the obvious one that is called Apache web server. So it is installing and removing the packages. It can take some more time depending on the speed. I have allocated 2 GB RAM to my this Ubuntu machine but if you can allocate more you can uh, either speed up the installation to a somewhat uh, large extent to somewhat large. So let us wait again. So we are almost done about 90%. Yes, it is running the trigger for a man DB. So it, as you can see that it has taken about a minute to download and install and configure. So PostgreSQL version 9.4 is there for us, the latest version. So it has finished. So now let us fire the installation of web server. So apt-get install Apache 2. So let us press yes. So we can say that uh, whenever we fire this type of installation, so lots and lots of dependencies and lots and lots of other packages are to be installed. So let us uh, start the service and see the status that is service Apache 2 status. So it is running. So let us have the IP address of this machine that is 192.168.117.160 so let us see whether it is working or not let us open Firefox the default web browser for Ubuntu 15.04 oops so now you can see that Apache Ubuntu default page is there so which means that it has been working properly. So now let us go with the installation and download part of Odoo package. So for that we have to use this web link and we have to use the word we have to go with the wget command. Because apt-get is not possible we have to download this package from this link. So now you can see that the download has started.
so it will take some uh, about some time about a minute so let us wait and then we will be using dpkj command in order to install this package thirty percent is almost there so it is about fifty MB we can say so let us wait for some more couple of seconds to get it downloaded and after that we will be starting with the installation part of Adu ERP software so all the commands which I, I am going to show you I am showing you is uh, available in the video and you can also find it on my Facebook channel or the Facebook page that is expert researcher you can search out or facebook.com slash expert researcher so now 90% is there so just less than 10 seconds now yeah it has downloaded so let us fire this command that is this is the package which has been downloaded if we find that it is about 53 point it is about 53.06 so here is the package so let us fire this command the dpkg command it is unpacking now so we are using ado latest version that is 8.0 so latest patches are always coming so the same procedure can be there you can just change the version and you can see the website because it's a free package so you can update it so now we can see that there is a python problem so again we can give this command apt hyphen get stall so it is correcting the dependencies now so let us go and fire this command and then we have to reconfigure the package as I've told you in the beginning that some Python dependencies might create a problem so now you have visited that these are the problems so giving the correct apt hyphen gift hyphen f install will correct all the dependencies and then again fire the dpkg command so now it is unpacking and fixing all this now it is setting up everything the Python problem now it is setting up the ado also so let us fire this command now and now we have to configure the ado open ERP application it's very simple now it is you can see that it is setting up so the setting up has been done so now give it this command vim that is the editor name slash etc slash odoo slash open erp hyphen server dot conf so the vim is not installed so let us install the vim package because it's a new version of Ubuntu so let us do this good enough so vim slash etc slash odoo slash open erp server dot com so now you can see that there is a file over here now you have to make some changes over here so there is an admin password that is admin so db port false false ado and db password let us go with this password i can just type my name anand123 so let us save this and let us make it sure that it is the same path so now everything is set so let us now fire up the package
some problem has occurred I think so just wait for respond So now we can see that the website has been opened 192.168.167.160.8069 and it is demanding the database name with Odoo I will say and let us choose the password my name Anand123 and Anand123 and let us create the database. So it will take some time. So this is regarded as the first interface for Odoo and then we will be setting up the project management add-on for this yes so it will be yes it has started with the this are the all the local modules which are required so let us click on this project management and click on install So it will be installing, you can install anything, purchase management, MRP, sales management, issue tracking, employees directory. So they are having hundreds and thousands of modules which I have shown you in the beginning. And uh, it is daily updating, it is uh, a very stable ERP software which you can use. Oh yes, so now we have to, uh, we are in the project manifest, so let us click on create and you can give the project name that is Anand Software Project Manager or Customer you can give again uh, that is called uh, ACS Tech anything what you want to give so let us click on Create and click Save so now you can see that the customer has also been created and the project name has been followed so all these are things which are to be administrator so click on over here and click on Logout so you can find that the Ado is a very simple and easy to use ERP software. So do give it a shot. I hope you like this video. Thank you.